For those whose primary instrument is not a transposing instrument, the concept that a C is not always a C may seem really confusing. Um, for students, though, who play treble class clef brass instruments like trumpet or horn, um, or play instruments in the clarinet and saxophone families, um, the idea that uh, we have an instrument pitch um, and a concert pitch is something that students learn very early on, and I really advise you to make sure to teach even your beginning students the differences between those two. Um, the reasoning for those differences um, really come down to two different traditions, and both of them are encapsulated in the brass family, so we'll focus on that here today. Um, historically speaking, prior to about 1800, you would have found no valves or rotors um, on brass instruments. That's what allows for chromatic pitches to be played. Um, so historically, the uh, notes that were available to a brass player would have followed the harmonic series. Again, no valves on there to allow for chromaticism. Well, that's great. This horn is set up in the key of F. It's great that if I'm playing a piece that's in the key of F, um, the notes I just played were um, concert pitch, F, A, and C, and then F again at the top. Uh, but let's say that I were to switch over to E flat. This instrument without valves is not capable of playing E flat. What was needed then were what were called crooks, which literally changed the instrument from F to be able to change it to now an instrument in E flat. Now the advantage, um, if you're Mozart, is you're able to now move your horn uh, to play in whatever key you have to be uh, performing in. Uh, the challenge that certainly comes in is um, if I'm playing in the key of E flat and I suddenly modulate, um, a D natural is not going to come out well on this instrument. So it made for pretty selective uh, notes uh, for a lot of those instruments, which again were taken care of once we had rotors installed on instruments. So in addition to the historical precedent for instruments being in different keys, allowing Mozart to write for horn in F when the piece was in F, horn in C when the instrument was in, when the piece was in C, horn in G when the piece was in G, uh, there's a more uh, practical reason why modern instruments, and specifically clarinet, saxophone, and trumpet today, are written in various keys. Uh, as a trumpet player, I am going to read music that has already been transposed. So that no matter what, um, when I read a C, the fingering systems remain the same. Uh, so for me, a C on a trumpet is going to always be open. So this happens to be a B-flat trumpet. And when I say that the C is always open, I mean the written C is open. The pitch that you just heard is concert B-flat. Now if I transfer instead over to the E-flat trumpet, um, when I read a C, you'll notice that a distinctly different pitch comes out. Specifically, that different pitch now being uh, E-flat concert. So I read a C, E-flat comes out. For almost all of our instruments, and I will say that E-flat trumpet is one of these weird exceptions, for almost all of our instruments, the written pitch is higher than the concert pitch. So when I read C4, middle C for a B-flat trumpet, the pitch that's coming out um, is going to be B-flat 3, one, uh, a major second, rather, whole step below concert C. Uh, that's going to be true whether we're talking about trumpet, whether we're talking about saxophone. So if I read C on an alto saxophone, the pitch that's coming out is the E flat below it. If I read C on a tenor saxophone, which is in B flat, um, and I play that C, the B flat below that, a major second lower, is going to come out. Um, there are a handful of exceptions, E flat trumpet being one of those. Um, but in general, that same rule is going to apply that's always the lower pitch. What stays consistently the same is that the name of the uh, key of the instrument, so B-flat trumpet, for example, is the pitch that comes out when we play a written C on the staff.